What is happening? Woden 04, Stan's Cloud 1, and All Father Stan here again. Coming in here with the Bosses 3 video, and we are going to kill this first centipede long arm, dude. I found in. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna list these guys. Uh, so that way, you know, because this game is great. I explored. If you didn't find them in the order I did, that's fine. Um, typically when I had issues with a boss or something, and, you know, if I played him for a bit and I felt I wanted to go do something, I, you know, went out there. And, uh, anyway. You can see the parries are paramount. <laughs> the parries are paramount for this fight, and it basically just annihilates him. Um... If you can get your parries, which basically is just a mash parry on him, um, and honestly if you're not doing it, you can mash parry, there's plenty of people out there, or a few people out there doing it, and if you're not, if you play Dark Souls in this game, etc., and you don't watch Vata, Vadia, Vidia, Vatia, Vidia, I believe, um, no affiliation, obviously, but he's great, and yeah, watch him, check him out. Anyway. Easy, easy peasy boss right here. Just wanted to still put him in here. And he gives you this cool freaking prosthetic attachment. The large fan. On to this next guy down here in the reservoir. The Ashina Reservoir. I'm gonna rush down here and you can actually just kind of even jump on this wall further. Uh, you, you don't even have to kill this person, but I uh, just... For good measure, I just did. Um, anyway. Sorry, just looking around for a second and I paused. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to run around here to this other side. And there is actually an NPC here, but for some reason he's gone right now. I'm not too sure. Well, you know what? I just ran into him. Um, but I sent him to the dungeon. I have a feeling he's got two paths, so... Uh, we'll definitely see his second path next time, but this time I sent him to the dungeon for the guy who's asking for a skilled samurai. But yeah, there is an NPC there, he does go to... Ah, oh, man. It's, uh, pretty far in the game. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the Lone Shadow Long Swords... Long Swords Dickman. Long Dickman. Anyway. He, he is actually, for some reason, like, much harder than the purple ninja, the purple ninja. Uh, I forget his name, but I, I will remember that. Anyway. If he gives you trouble, just come back here and do what I did, or just run away and heal yourself. And just, he, he also does not like you jumping on uh, these two back and forth, so if you have the axe, it can do some posture damage. Uh, I, I probably should have an upgrade for it, or maybe an upgraded spear, but... Uh, obviously don't know his little niche, I'm just grinding down this guy. And if you miss, if you miss the attack from above, just bail out, go back out the other way like where you go to heal, and come back again and wait, wait it out and go, go up top. The fan, or yeah, the, the black hat fan blocking tool, like, probably the best. Pro I mean, I'm just not using it. Anyway. He's getting down there, and he's an asshole. He will jump kick you. You can parry these, um, but it will destroy your block if it's not absolutely perfect, and the mash parry isn't great for perfect. Again, where Dark Souls keeps you confined to this game, use the walls to your own advantage. Jump on that wall and get out of there. He does do a kick, he kicks me down, but he's pretty low on health, and we're just gonna make sure we block. Use our axe, get in here to try to get some damage. Anyway, if there is something that's easier to kill him, please let me know. Throw it in the comment section, uh, comment section, and help everyone else out as well. Uh, Senpu Temple. We're gonna come up here, and this is for the medieval Dark Souls knights. 
I, I forget his name. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll throw I'll throw that in the the title of the the section. Though. The wait there for him to drop down and you can stealth kill him, and then come over and stealth kill him. Which leaves this for an easy. Well, you can usually easily stealth kill him, but I just jump past him. And this is where Tenchu just really came in handy, and I just, I just, I love this game. If you're tired of hearing me saying this every one of these videos, please put it in the comment section. Uh, just let me know. It's just an amazing game. Would love to see a second character, like in Tenchu, Riku, Maru, and Nayame, with uh, dual little dual swords instead of the big sword, instead of the full katana. Or maybe in a, a, a Vachi, or even a guy who wears, you know, like, who does the reverse held katana. So the armored warrior, the, I, I try to keep him down here, and then make sure you just, yeah, spam the box. And try to get him to destroy this fucking place, man, because I think the only way to kill him is for him to kill himself. And he'll see what I mean in just a second here. The more this we have destroyed, the better. I'd like to get that railing behind destroyed. I, I don't know if that will let him die. But I've had quite a few unsuccessful runs already. Um, where I literally just kill him over and over and over and I just run out of health. And I'm being sloppy right now. But really, it's okay. Because you're going to be like, whoa, why is, his, why isn't his posture going down? He hasn't hit him again. You know, so don't worry about hitting him. Don't worry about anything. Just worry about staying alive. Found that neat little trick. If you can keep him in that corner when he rages, and then try to cut him off by a corner, um, he'll, he'll, he'll just sit there, so. I don't know why I'm, I'm I think I'm, I'm hitting it too early. I'm just, I'm doing a panic carry, but... But notice how his posture isn't going down. I don't need to go in for another hit. I try to, but I just take it. I take it. Almost there. Just keep it. You know what I mean? Keep patience. It's close, too. But we made it. Such an homage to Dark Souls. It just that felt great. And a nice little uh, passive skill as well. Give you a second to read that. Okay. Now, in the Senpu Temple, not hard to find at all. Just a. Um, The second centipede boss, for me at least. These little guys, you can just jump on them and kill them, but you can slash them as well. It just depends on whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing if that's a shadow door. It's the first boss, this is the first time I've seen this boss. Sorry, next time I'll cut that part out. Or any part like that out. But um, anyway, so yeah, sorry, I've seen if there's a shadow door. Um, I, I did know there was something above me, but you know how it is. Anyway, I had a feeling and it didn't work out, but we're seeing, you know, having a little bit of difficulty the first time I ran through here. Um, I ran through here many multiple times afterwards for experience and coins, just killing everything from the top to the bottom. Um, and it was, it's very easy. So just, all you need to do is worry about is, uh, you can grab a hook around, and then lock on him, and then jump up and hit him. But this is also the first time I noticed that they threw fire, so... 
was a little displeased with that at first. Really not an issue. Once you get used to it, you can just farm through here. Very farmable area. Again, just for the centipede, uh, just throwing it in there, mostly. The easy peasy. Grapple and then I jump. This one you can grapple and don't don't forget that you can grapple and then while you're flying you can swing your sword as well. So that and the sword swinger too will take care of it. Pretty simple. Poor boss. I should take out these two first. So I think we're gonna go over there and do that right now, or at least one of them. Well, no, both of them, and then you need to come and stealth kill the boss. Well, he's so fucking easy. We don't really need to stealth kill him at all. We just don't want something else to mess with him. Oh, we're going to get a little Diagro. You can get a Diagro and Stealth kill him as well, from above. <clears throat> it really is just faster just to kill him, though. But, all good. You're going to take a dousing for the first time in the game, actually. Oh, he sees me. Okay. You see, that was just wasted. You just... Some of the bosses I found are harder to uh, jump kill. I don't know what it is, but... Anyway. He's just going to be a troll and just keep smashing L1 or... Right, right bumper. And he just, he tuckers himself out. Uh, don't forget to jump. He basically, every single time he'll use one of those uh, his things, he'll just jump, and jump on his head, it'll destroy his posture again. And then round two, you just right back at it. You don't even need to heal. Uh, don't even worry about it. You can just use a revive. Look at that. Look at that posture. Don't even worry about don't even worry about stealth killing this guy. He's so simple. Um, if you're having problems with him, you should definitely not stealth kill him and make sure you do this. Again, just doing some items. I didn't think that was gonna turn, but whatever. Just feel like sometimes hidden items are worth it. Anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the first boss for me that honestly was literally legitimately hard. He is, he is hard. Um, he took me about five hours. I'm probably going to say it's going to take, I mean, unless you spent a lot of hours, I mean, not a lot of hours, um, practicing and doing some better stuff. And this is basically where I found out how I can how to parry much better and everything. So, yeah, I'm gonna say it's gonna take you a couple, at least a couple hours to beat him. Shurikens, probably the only thing. Shurikens and maybe a thrusting spear were probably the best things I found from the Sabi Maru. Might work for a little bit, but he's wearing armor and the poison. I, I was not able to poison him. So you might be luckier than I am, but or you might just enjoy the uh, the quickness and the ability with the Savimaru. Anyway, however you like to fight, you're gonna want to fight exactly like that and learn. If you can get him near, just like that that parry right there. If you can get the thrust parries and you can get him in the air, 
before he hits you with an arrow, which is honestly just very risky, and I don't I don't suggest it because I probably would would spend an extra hour onto my games because I kept trying to do it. Um, you can honestly destroy his his posture, but just worry about the parries and your hits. I like the right side. The right side dodges, but you can do right and left because his sword, like, I'm right there. Like, his sword swings will go from upper right to bottom, bottom left, and upper left to bottom right. And he will catch you on a hitbox one way or another if, if you worry about dodging. So it, it is about parries. You gotta get your parries, you gotta know when to dodge. And the pressure. Notice the pressure. Notice. Notice how when even even when he blocks, I'm still hitting him a couple times. And then memor memorize his his hit. And the three or four different air times <laughs> that he has, but if you give him enough pressure and you keep the pressure even better than I do, I, which I have done, he his arrows won't happen because you'll hit him right when he pulls out his bow which he has no ability to block with because he doesn't have a sword drawn. It, it is wonderful and if you can catch him while he's jumping up in the leg with the sword he will destroy his posture, he'll go down, he'll get to hit him some more times. Anyway, we're gonna go into the phase where you're like, YES! Oh shit! And this is what really took the most time for me to figure out. His defenses are much worse. Much worse. He is just much more overpowered than he was previously. With the lightning. Oh, the lightning from software. God, I love it. When you play from software games and you see somebody with lightning, you're, you're like, oh, shit. That's gonna be tough, and it is. It, it's really powerful, very easy to dodge. Um, one of the first temples that I found talked about you can, as long as with lightning, you can jump, right? You can jump, and you can harness it, and you can you can unleash it again. Which I have jumped and harnessed it many times. For some reason, I was not allowed to attack. I couldn't unleash it, and once I hit the ground again, dead. Um, so, eventually I just stopped trying to do that and I dodge, dodge, dodge with his attacks. Um, we have a reincarnation use, unfortunately. Dodge. Pressure, man. Keep the pressure. I love this flowing water section from the carp skills. I, I love it. I love it more than Ichimon and everything else. I, 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 haven't, I haven't bought all of them yet, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. It's not high highest damage unless you get the full combo, which is hard unless it's a you know pawn and but... Oh, I can't wait, and the camera angle fucked me, but... It still is just... Oh, so sweet! Finally kill him. He gives you a attack boost, and he gives you this wonderful, wonderful ability that I, I just... I love. I personally love this ability. There's another great one, too, but it's your first ninjutsu. Bloods. It is. It's a good one. It's hard to get used to at first. Once you do, though, very, very useful for a crowd. Yeah, great stuff there. Anyway, we are going to end the video with a little movie here at the end. But I did want to say thank you guys for coming. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you know, if you like the video, throw some comments. Let me know what you guys want. Um, also, come over to my Twitch. Uh, you know, we're just chilling and uh, basically just throwing some jokes out there. Um, yeah, come on in there as well. And thank you guys for coming. Hope you guys have a great run.